Hey everyone, um, so I had to stop recording and start over because I ran out of space on my phone to record, so this is my second take of this HPZ Talks video. Um, so in this video I'm going to be talking about my songwriting process. Um, that was a suggestion given by um, someone on YouTube in the comments of um, the HPZ Talks Punk video. So I figured I would do it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start. Um, so I have my notebook here, which, well, this is actually my sketchbook, but I use it for songwriting and for, um, like, drawing too. Um, and please excuse my voice, I played a show last night with my band Ride or Die, and my throat is just, like, horrible now. Um, but yeah, so, my songwriting process is pretty weird in my opinion. Um, it's kind of different every time I write a song, but generally speaking, I would say that I write the words first, um, and then with I write the words with some sort of melody in mind or like some sort of like structure in mind. So when I say structure, I mean like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, or something, which I don't do like structures like that because I'm not a pop singer, so I don't do it. Um, but uh, yeah, so I usually write words, and here's an example of a song I wrote. This is a new song that's going to be on UFO, so I'm not going to show too much. A lot of people have told me that this looks really confusing, um, so I know it's hard to see, but this whole thing right here is one part of the song, and then these things are another part. Um, my cat is coming over because he wants to be in this window. Okay. Why do, why do you have to go right there? Please move. Lay down, baby. Um, but yeah, so this song is called Captain Brady's Treasure. Um, and so up here is like, Jesus Christ, Muta. He's trying to get in this window, but it's not going to happen. Up here, this whole thing right here is the first intro verse thing. And then this is one part of like the ending thing, and then this is the second part. So it goes like this, this, and this. Which is kind of weird, and I've heard from people that it looks weird to, to read it. Um, I, it works, that's what works best for me. Um, and then... Actually, I have a song called UFO that's going to be on UFO, and that's how this this song is UFO, and this is how this is written, which this is pretty easy and, like, easy to actually see. Um, this is, like, very straightforward in how a lot of my stuff looks, um, but then there's always those couple of songs that look super wacky and, like, really weird and kind of hard to read. Um... And so yeah, so that's how I literally write my songs. Um, ooh, my phone fell. Hopefully this is, Jesus Christ, <laughs> holy shit. Um, I'm blaming Muta. Uh, I'm just gonna hold it. So yeah, that's how I usually write my songs. Sorry, I have cat hair in my nose. Um, rarely, like very rarely will I write a ukulele part and then use like like use that as the first thing like the first part of writing a song um here maybe i could set this here yeah that'll work usually um if i'm gonna write like a melody or something i'll write it on my chord organ or i'll write it um i'll just like sing it and then record it and remember it um yeah, so very rarely do I write a ukulele part and then start with that. Usually it's like, that comes last. Um, another thing that kind of rarely happens is I'll like, I'll like have a dream and then I'll write a song in the dream and then I'll wake up and write it. Um, but that has happened for me, like my song Pulling Teeth was in a dream and then I woke up and wrote it. Um, which that was really cool, like when that happens I'm like, it's, it feels like I'm getting a freebie or that I'm, like, copying someone, but it was literally, like, in my dream, so it's mine, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then 
sometimes I will have a melody in my head all day and I'll be like, what song is this? And then I'm usually like, maybe I just came up with this. And then I'll write a song based off that, which is actually a lot of my music. Um, I do that a lot. If I have a melody in my head, I'll just like record it on my phone and then record it later, um, like better. And so, yeah, that's usually how I do stuff. Um, trying to think if I have any tips and tricks. I never work myself too hard when writing a song. I want it to happen very naturally. So, like, if something's not coming to me or while I'm recording, like, I just keep messing up, I will, like, leave the situation for a little bit, like a couple hours, and then come back and see if I can start writing again. Um, because I don't want music to be stressful because everything else is stressful, but this is, like, the one thing I don't want to be stressful. Um, but yeah, I, I, that's pretty much my songwriting process. It usually takes me, like, it could take me anywhere from five minutes to, like, three days to write a song, and it's pretty different every time. Um, there goes Muta. Um, yeah, it's pretty different every time, but that's how I do it. Um, if anyone wanted to know, I record my music using my iPhone, and then I use, I re record, like, a bass or not like a B-A-S-S -S bass, but a B-A-S-E bass, um, a bass recording, and then from there I add more things um, using a rock band microphone and garage band, um, and that's worked really well for me, and there's a whole lot of cool effects you can add to vocals and stuff. I usually do the natural effect, the natural voice effect, um, Sounds really good. I turned down the ambience because I don't like ambience on my voice. But yeah, so I, I, I'm pretty sure that's all I really do. Um, I'm a pretty simple person when it comes to songwriting and recording. I'm all about just doing it yourself and like I don't really like the recording studio vibes so it's nice being able to just do it in the comfort of my own home. Um, and having the privilege to do so is really nice. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any other questions or prompts or anything. I love making HPZ Talks videos. Um, I'm trying to keep them a little bit shorter because I know they tend to go really long. Um, but yeah, just let me know if you have anything, if you have any ideas. Um, I'm totally willing to do videos pretty much whenever. So thank you so much. This has been HPZ Talks and I'll see you next time.